Hello. <laughs> it's not for Corona. Box stuff is terribly bad for your hair. Usually I'll do Sally's, but this one actually comes with some kind of like, I think, almond oil. That was kind of neat to put in. But I'm a little concerned. Do you see the color? Why? Why? Yo, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> So, I might as well talk for another moment. Um, choose a word each day. Make it a part of your intentions, right? So lately, for me, it's been, how can I be extraordinary? Not just extra. <laughs> and now I'm like in the word sophisticated. Hmm. Kind of makes a business side of life, which I don't hmm, vibe with naturally. A little more appealing. A little more sexy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, choose a word, man, and make it your intention. I didn't come here for ordinary. How can I be extraordinary? Do I want to be a seventy-year-old, like, or whatever? Do I want to be a thirty-something? Oh God, state it. It's so hard to state age. Why? Because they've programmed us that we're old and da da da. But do I want to be like a 39 year old? <laughs> I hate it. Um, I don't know. Living with other people, depending on other people. I've always had my own place actually. It's just part of the process right now the uncovering of the soul and leaving the matrix. But if we don't think of these things like, how can I be more sophisticated? What is sophistication? It brings something of a, um, a beauty to, uh, a beauty and a, a like a more classier vibe to, to adulting, right? To business. Or, you know, if we, if we would just like look at the, I, I do this a lot where I'm not looking at the steps to, that it takes to get me to where I want to go, but I'm looking at the, and not even really looking at where I want to go, which is fucking because I want to go everywhere, right? And, um, so we can be like, oh, I came here for extraordinary because we feel the intuition or we see a part of our path. But then it's like, okay, cool, 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 cool. But like, how will you get there? <laughs> Virgo stuff, right? Virgo, practical world. The practical world. Um, yeah, so you, we can like say we came here to be extraordinary and it can be divine as fuck, but it doesn't drop in our lap. It can be that easy, but we have to direct the mind and the heart's passion of how and how and why does that that extraordinary um, happen, you know? And what is that? And is it aligning with the fate in, in my life and understanding the fate of it is seen in our astrology? And... Um, and it's given life through our heart, right? And through our action, through our fire. Mars will be going retrograde soon. I hope you guys are on High Vibe TV following the Leo King. And if you're not, I hope you have some kind of good astrologer helping you out. And be careful, there's a lot of astrologers out there. You got to get a good one. Or you got to you know how to do shit. But it's just wise. The world's crazy. I think everybody can agree on that now. Oh, whoa. We found world peace because we can all agree the fucking world's crazy. <laughs> oh. uh, no, we would still not agree on that. Some people are like, they never want to agree. <laughs> um, what was I saying? What else I got for you guys? This is just weird. Why? I'm fucking like... 
want to curse it. I had on like some love intention. I mean, a 432 hertz, bringing the love vibes to the hair dye. And yeah, so I like the idea, like picking a word. It really helps my mind to go back to like, because if we don't look at those steps, right, with the north node in uh, Gemini and then the south node in Sag, if we're not looking at like the logical side, and that is in itself very tricky right now with the times we're in and world changing and in the conscious community, right? Logical is consciously choosing. It's not like partaking in the bullshit, right? Or if it's, you know, been shown to you the magic, the magical sides of our universe, that is logic. You have been shown, right? You have been shown the secrets. Go within, child. Um, you know, because people will confuse it and be like, oh, logical is go get a fucking job, a nine to five or something, something, you know? And uh, teach his own all the time. But um, growth, growth and evolution. Evolution, like some people like get weird with that word. It just means to like progress, progress, and go towards the extraordinary life, right? Or going back to the word of. Um, what was it? Um, fuck. It's weird. I really feel like the mind, um, the mind, <laughs> Mercury is in the air. So I've got a lot of stuff. It's like been more clear for me mentally, but still like a lot of simulation. It's in fire, so it makes sense. And it might be an aspect that I'm not aware of. I'm sure the Leo King's talking about. Good shoulders, good shoulders. Um, it's not turning purple, guys. Am I going to look like the pink Power Ranger? Because I've been manifesting like that for years, but I was talking about the fucking suit. And more importantly, the bike. So be careful with what you're manifesting, I guess. <laughs> um, uh, I don't really want to do the video like this for Virgo. I, I'm going to do a video for Virgo, though. We just stepped into the sign of Virgo, which is my sun sign. I just want to do a little more like, I don't know. It's just not here in my brain ready. Oh, sophisticated. Uh, thank you, subconscious mind, for your retrieval. <laughs> um, I'm uncovering, like, a lot of fears, right? Which gets exciting, because then we clear our vessel. So I can radiate light. Um, and... Um, It's scary when you like, and in, in a way, when you like are used to relying on God. I do quote because like so many aspects to God, you know, and most of it, this is all stemming from like most everything is stemming from our mind of what, you know, we've been taught and how we understand things. And, um, I understood God and responded with God in the way of like a surrender, right? I've spoken about this before and um, recently that's changed and I can relate it to kind of the, the sun and the moon energy, right? Like relating, I mean, I'm surrendering to the emotional um, side where like I would feel God um, and intuition through my gut or something like a nudge or a knowing or a warmth you know and this was like a few years ago and it really like was strong when I first came into doing tarot and um, if you're in the Cyprus area I'll be doing tarot readings at Fury Spirit Garden oh oh and um, always I can do those um, online for you guys um, 
but I mean, even more than tarot is my astrology readings. Yes, astrology is the way. Tarot is really fun too. Though. They're both really great. And then I'll have gene keys available to kind of guide and help with those um, understanding their stuff. I have the books for you guys. That was a sidetrack. What was I saying? Um, I wonder if I should do this <laughs> on the video. Uh, no, I don't know that I can focus like that. I'm like, like my shop. I dye my hair mainly because I have gray hairs. And in that way, I am vain because they don't come in just some kind of like one cool streak. Like you'd imagine like, oh, it's cool. I'll leave it. It looks great. No, it'd be like sporadic as fuck and it like ages you. No. It's, it, I, I don't, I don't, uh, I like that I choose to dye my hair, but I don't, I don't know. I don't like that. I just love natural for some reason so much. It might be the Virgo thing. Um, but I don't love it that much. Hell no. <laughs> um, <laughs> see. I forgot. Sophisticated. It makes business a little more sexier, though. At first, it, when I was, you know, heard it and was thinking about it, I was like, um, it's time to grow up. I don't like how it feels. Oh, that's what I was talking about, going into shadows. Shadows. Oh, no, not the shadows. Hmm. It's really fun to evolve in ways, and it's really painful, and it's a weird process. But it brings us to this amazing gold within our soul. And it's so beautiful. And that gold, like, melts away fear. That's what I was thinking about earlier. Yes. I'm so glad it came back. I was thinking as I'm trying to, not trying, words have so, <laughs> face, words have so much power. So it's important the way we phrase things, you know, and um, for me, to each of them. And um, I wonder if this thing has a time on it. <laughs> It. Don't break it. Took your moment on. Let's make it. <laughs> um, Mercury and Leo. Ah, ah. Oh, and understanding value and self worth and the root chakra and being grounded and um, rooted in our in our vessel of home and bringing in the abundance because we're secure and we're. Uh, we feel safe and stable, like, it, it, it can be a lot. I think that that one is, which is crazy because it's the first chakra, right? Um, I think a good portion of Americans have that, and I find it fucking interesting as fuck that women, when we have children, get, like, the perineum cut. Or it tears on its own, but like, if it tears on its own, see here I go with the natural stuff. And I don't feel it's as bad because like it's just your body, right? But like, when they cut you, like that can be weird. I don't know, dude. Ugh, it's just so weird. And it's just tricky as fuck. Spirituality is crazy. And it's not crazy. I mean, it can be. <laughs> um, everything becomes relative as you wake up and become more aware, though, and symbolic and layers and layers of connectedness of meaning you know and western medicine like everything is a balance right to each its own always because we are literally astrology will show you we are literally different for our divine fate you know and that fate can change for sure because it takes the free will it takes the well it takes the choosing of the blessing of free will right and so I'm going to use, I mean, this is my opinion. This is just my opinion, you know. And um, I'm going to use, what's his name? Um, Hitler, right? So Hitler, um, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I just feel as though, because I don't want to get all into his stuff. And it's not really a no point. But he did hold a lot of Taurus energy, I believe. I 
forget. I mean, his sun sign alone is Taurus energy. Taurus is beautiful energy. Um, I was just going to say that for him, I feel that he, you know, I haven't looked at his whole chart. I have, but I don't remember. Like, I don't know where his life purpose was going and all this, but like, um, that energy can get greedy. So there's a shadow and there's a, there's a positive and a negative to all the energy of the zodiacs, you know, like for myself with all this Libra, all this Libra, um, with a Libra stellium, right? Um, the positive is, you know, they're, they just want peace and happiness and balance. Um, though, and then on the negative, I feel, um, because they want that peace and balance and all of that, they're willing to go into extremes, you know, like, we're all walking this way, and the Libra's over here like, how yeah, these people, these people, no, I can't feel peace unless we help these people too, or something like that, and it's just like, or they're sitting on the fence, you know, they're doing what, what, um, we look at the opposite sign, you know, so Aries is the opposite of Libra, and Aries um, takes action, it's the match, the cardinal fire, it starts the fire, so cool, uh, courage and all that, their shadow is it can be foolish as fuck, because it's not thinking about all the things, but I like to think and interpret that, well, let me go back, whereas Libra, they're the diplomat, Right? So they're like, sorry if I'm whispering, my family is like sleeping and the house is really quiet and they wake up really early, like really early. And they wake up several times a night because, you know, they're thinking that they've got to sleep this eight hour bullshit and like eat all this weird shit. And it's like too a bit of blonde. Um, so the shadow side for him, for Taurus with Hitler, obviously he got greedy, right? And um, man. So we each are embodying. I love astrology so much for so many reasons. It's so fun. And it's so much truth, you know? And like I've had enough of the non-truths. But it's I'm so grateful that I did find an amazing astrologer who was able to help me get back to, in his teachings, get back to embodying my own chart and to the soul. It, it gets us, well, I mean, love too, right? Love connects us back to our soul and loving ourselves, you know, and connecting back to the energy of astrology. It's just like, so many things like anyway so <laughs> but Libra as a diplomat I'm sorry I'm flipping around can um, can they're looking at everyone's perspective because they've related to everyone as the judge right the justice skills and um they want fairness for everyone. Um, they do, though they like are very dis not, not discerning. Um, I don't want to say accurate. Or I don't know how to say. Like they definitely have their favorites. <laughs> like they'll definitely kind of like call it as it is, you know. Though they're relating to all of it, they're going to be fucking truthful in their perception, right? Like. They live the highest, brightest of integrity, right? And because um, they want that. They want that high beautifulness for the world or for themselves or whatever. And then they'll definitely call out some dark shit and be like, you know, yeah, I saw 